A. This is Richard, Sergeant Richard, Gabby. And I'm coming on behalf of Motel Gratit for the Richard Gabby Show. And I definitely want to thank everybody for tuning in. I haven't been on here for a very long time, but they kind of forced me to come this time um, in ways that I didn't want to be forced to come, but they forced me to be here and they forced me to talk about what they want me to talk about. So I'm Sergeant Richard Gabby. And today's show is called Hands Off. And I put together some things that I thought that would remind me to remind you to keep your hands off. Um, if it was a store like environment, or you don't, uh, I guess they don't really want me to talk about like a thief or nothing like that but um, if it was a salamander on the ground and it's slimy uh, okay they don't want me to talk about salamanders and sliminess and cause I guess everybody would primarily want to keep their hands off of something like that but Hands off is simply when you are in a situation, in a relationship situation, maybe, and um, you shouldn't touch this person if that person don't want you to touch them. Now, this seems pretty simple to me and elementary. So they used to say when I was a young buck, it seems to be elementary when somebody says hands off. Now, I heard uh, Motel Granite and uh, we all heard uh, I do tree lack and we have to be careful saying certain things around here because it's a war zone. But, um, and we even heard Doctor, um, how you say his whole name? Marion Tulu Fisk uh, Pat Hosinger Wolfgang Good Level. <laughs> um, I might get extra money for being able to say all of those names, but talk about hands off. It was an incident that they all discussed and I was told that I need to discuss as well about the gentleman that went to the hotel. And um, he obviously thought that because he had taken the woman to the hotel that something was going to come of it. But as he learned and a lot of other men have learned the hard way. Um, you could just take your money and throw it out the window and save yourself all of the time um, because they're both equivalent and equal to one another. The situation is the same. Man takes his money, goes to where the toilet is at, and flushes it. That is what this man dealt with in that situation. But the difference is his humiliation carried a lot of time. A lot of time. So I say, hands off. Hands off. Hands off. Hands off. I don't know if this is good enough but it seems to work for me. Um, this hands-off program, hands-off approach, I kind of like it. 
because maybe it'll save you from doing time. Time in jail. Time in somebody's basement. Time in somebody's house in a marriage that doesn't work. Time. If you keep your hands off, maybe there's no confusion. Because we said something before. I saw the videos and they was correct. Um, when you was in elementary school, I don't know how many of you guys still go to school, uh, but you lined up and they tell you right when you lined up, keep what? Your hands to what? You got it. Yourself. So when did a man grow up to get to a point where he felt like he could put his hands and touch a woman. I was going to wait, but I don't think the red light is blinking for anybody to call in. I was checking to see if if anybody had called in and and asked anything about uh, what I'm saying, the, the hands-off approach of leaving people alone as a matter of fact leaving people the hell alone that's what you should just do you can save yourself some time and some what is that money so for anybody that's ignorant stupid dumb uh, then passed out uh, got hit in the head with a brick I had Alzheimer's um some type of menstrual uh, mental um, instability or menstrual mental pause something I don't know but whatever you got whatever you have you want to buy you some rope and I'm not talking about the rope process uh, guys that's why we're talking about hands off now. You're talking about rope. And this is going to go over a lot of people's head because they wasn't born to know anything about the term rope. But if you do buy some rope nowadays, you need to tie your own hands up. Like this. And keep them in front of your face. And if you keep them in front of your face, maybe nobody can see what you're saying or see what you're thinking. They just see these eyes or something like that peeking through. Almost like we've some Israelians or something like that from Pakistan. Or maybe we from um, Malaysia somewhere. Or in the Middle East. Um, it's getting cold outside, y'all. And uh, and uh, when it's cold like it is, Sometimes you want to have your hands on somebody. But this winter, we got to get blankets, electric blankets, uh, extra pillows, cushions, uh, sheets, comforters, jogging pants, um, you know, type of things that you can keep yourself warm. But if you're fortunate enough, to find you a woman that wants you to touch her. Then you can put hands on. Is that okay to say? What if the woman... If the woman wants you to touch her, then you can put hands on. But you need to ask first. And find out if that's what she wants. And maybe she could sign a contract with where you can get a piece of paper. And have her sign her name and stuff that says, I... Rosalina, Abigail, Simpson, Tolos Paul, Nelson, Full Nelson, Half Nelson, uh, Karate Chop, Bruce Lee, uh, Richardson. I have signed this, and I agree that it's okay for this month to touch me. All right. This is hands off. I did what they asked me to do. Now put my check in my box. Peace.
Peace.